thinking, now I've got showdown value. I've got a pair of sixes. Hit the panda, correctly assess the situation, realizing that he was more than likely behind to possibly a pair of eights, or in this case, Jason's pair of nines. Really like that bet from Hit the Panda. He's going to raise in the button with King-10 suited. Calvin, three betting from the small blind. Jason's got sixes. He's going to four bet. Back over to hit the panda. This is hand 64. And I hope this final table lasts till pan 640. This is the kind of final table that I wish we weren't just doing a highlight show. I'd like to do every hand. Calvin's going to call. So after three betting with the gap-suited connector, he decides to call. You can see they're nearly 50-50, but Jason's got the betting lead, and he has position. Calvin with the best hand, though, now, as he spikes a nine. Calvin checks. Jason with already two scoop titles during this festival, looking for number three. He's going to bet 68,000. Calvin Anderson makes the call. Ace of clubs on the turn. Anderson checks. Jason burst on the scene many years ago at San Remo when he won the EPT. Great venue. If you've never been there, highly recommend it. Beautiful little town. What's not to love about Italy? And then, of course, the poker is fantastic. Jason bets 109000 Anderson calls again. Pot is 535000 Rivers of three of hearts. The front door flush gets there. Calvin checks a third time, and Jason's going to put his tournament on the line. He moves all in, and he gets Calvin to fold. What a show from Jason, the instincts, and then, of course, the courage to go through with it. He moves all in, and as you can see, we jump ahead to hand 66. He's a chip leader with 870,000. Calvin with the three bet. Jason's got him dominated in diamonds. You imagine he'll call this, and he does. 72,000 in the pot. Not one, but two diamonds on that flop. Could we see another flush over flush situation? That would be disastrous for Calvin. I enjoy doing commentary every single week, whether it be a Sunday Million, whether it be a tea coop, or whatever it might be. But when you get to commentate on world-class players like this, it really is a treat. Calvin with the continuation bet after the three bet pre-flop. Jason calls with the king high flush draw. 
King High, by the way, the best hand right now. Both players pick up a gut shot to go along with the flush draw. And in fact, Jason is actually double gutted. An eight or a queen gives Jason a straight. A diamond gives him the flush. It's a big turn card for him. Jason bets 80,000 when checked to. Calvin calls. The rivers are blank. King high is the best hand. Question is, do we get the showdown? Calvin's going to bet 33,000. He bets about one-tenth of the pot. Does it get through? When somebody bets this small, you'd never imagine, you'd never think that it was a bluff. Jason views it as a blocker bet. He's going to raise forcing Calvin Anderson to fold, and Jason up over a million chips. Mercier, with more than half the chips in play right now, hand 67, blind still a modest 3,000, 6,000. These players have plenty of chips relative to the blinds. Calvin raising from the small blind. Makes it 3x from the small blind. Three clubs out there and an ace. But 10s are still good. In event number 13, Calvin Anderson leapfrogged Sean Deeb when he won the $2,100 stud event for a groundbreaking sixth overall scoop title. What a final table that was. Sean Deeb there. DJK123, that's Dan Kelly. He finished in second place. And then, of course, Calvin Anderson ended up winning that tournament. So Calvin looking for number seven of all time. Club on the turn is not going to help him, though. Jason with the second nuts. He's going to bet 32000 Calvin calls. 136000 in there. Calvin less wary about an ace. Obviously much more worried about a club in Jason's hand. Three-handed, this is a pretty easy value bet spot for Jason. Just a question of how much he decides to bet, and he bets 88,000. The interesting thing is, if you call the turn, do you have to call the river? Let me know what you think. You can tweet me at Tuck on Sports. Calvin does make the call, and Jason now up to 1.2 million. 